titles are crucial to the full accessibility of videos. In this video, I'll show you how to automatically caption your videos using Kapwing's free online tool. Here is a video I found of Al Roker talking about the upcoming polar vortex that's happening. And this is the video I'm going to use as my example to caption. I'm going to copy and paste the link to the video. You can copy, you can copy and paste a link from many different sources, including YouTube, and you can also upload content directly from your device. Now I have my video ready and I'm just going to click auto generate. I want it in English, but there's a range of languages available, just depending on what language your video is originally in. The subtitles will auto generate. Now your subtitles will show up auto generated on your screen. Uh, you can change the size of the subtitles because you don't want them to be too big to be covering your screen. You can also change the font of them. So let's say I want Helvetica. You can make them at the bottom of your screen or you can make them at the top or you can make them at the middle if that's what you so choose. Uh, you can have a background for them or no background. Um, I am going to have a full background and I'm going to put it at the top of my screen so as not to block this. So as not to block this part. Uh, now, the subtitles are all automatically generated, but there might be some editing you want to do after the fact. So I want to fix this is frigid air, face dropped. So just doing minor edits to make sure everything's in order. If I want to split a subtitle into two, I'm going to duplicate. And then I'm going to find out where this part ends. And then maybe I want it to change just at the butt. So I'm going to set my end time of the first one to the current time. And I'm going to set my end time of the other one to the same thing. And then I'm going to delete the first part from one of them and delete the second part. Or I'm going to delete the second part from one of them and then the first part from the other. So you can see. And right now they're overlapping a little bit, so I just want to make sure that this is a little bit later. And then I just want to do that again. Here's what we're looking right at right now. You just want to watch through the video and confirm that all the text is right because sometimes you can hear a little bit better than the computer. So then you can just keep on doing that until you're finished the video. Uh, for the video itself, you can decide what size you want it to whether you want it to be square for Instagram or long for an Instagram story or for Twitter or a landscape or Facebook. And you can also decide if you want to zoom and crop it or fit it. So I'm just going to keep it as the original size. But if you wanted to have some kind of black padding at the bottom to allow you to put the subtitles not over the image, you can also do that. Um, Okay, and when you're done with your video, uh, you can see all the subtitles are done. You can go through and edit them all, and then you can click Create. Your caption video might take longer to export if your source video is long and if you have a lot of subtitles. So what you can do is you can copy this link 
and exit the page and then come back to it later when it's loaded. You can also always go under my account to find your created videos. When you come back to the link of your video, you can see it's done and all your subtitles are in place and you can click download to download to your device. Thanks for watching.